my brothers and sisters good evening this is the evening prayer for saturday february 5th 2022 the vigil of the fifth sunday in ordinary time let us begin our evening prayer brothers and sisters in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the lord is a god of mercy come let us adore him Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, sometimes the sense of our own sinfulness and weakness can be almost crippling. It can even push us away from God, because we feel unworthy of his love. This was Peter's initial reaction when he experienced the holiness of Jesus, saying, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. But Jesus wishes to heal the sinner. We should fall on his mercy. And again and again, he will raise us up in love. And let us pray. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Though the mountains leave their place, and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. The word of the Lord. On this Saturday evening, my brothers and sisters, let us pray the canticle of Mary. My soul rejoices. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord hates sin, but loves sinners and wishes to make us whole. So we pray. And the response is, Lord, heal us in your mercy. Lord, heal us in your mercy. When our hearts are far from you, Lord, heal us in your mercy. When we are trapped in the sickness of sin, Lord, heal us in your mercy. When we seek false loves that draw us away from you, Lord, heal us in your mercy. And let us offer to God our own personal intentions, cold from the silence of our hearts. Lord, heal us in your mercy. And let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us. And we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the Lord strengthen our hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From the first book of Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 13. And on this Saturday evening, brothers and sisters, let us pray the Salve Regina. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, 
that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good night, brothers and sisters.